Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Joshua Matthew. If you are old here, thanks. And if you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime I upload a new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using Adobe Photoshop. So if you are a beginner, then key into this tutorial, then let's get started. All right, what I'm going to use 1080 by 1080. And my resolution is going to be 300 as usual then i'm going to use rogp color mode for this tutorial so now we are going to get started so now i'm going to copy the color code i'm going to use so over here i'm going to make a copy of this one ctrl plus c to copy then go to your color here then i'm going to select the gradient color then open this one and over here, I'm going to paste it. Then this one, I'm going to position the location to 40%. Then come over here. Now copy this one. Control plus C to copy. Then open it. Control plus B to paste. Now we are going to increase the opacity to 100%. And this is what is going to give you then click OK to apply it. So having done this one, the next thing now I'm going to bring in my test. Then I will copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then go to your resource file and I'm going to import the church logo, then reduce the size. Select your test tool and Ctrl plus V to paste. Now I'm going to change the font color. So over here I'm using two color. So this one I'm going to highlight this one. Then go to your color and I'm going to apply yellow or orange color. like this then apply drop shadow so this is okay and flip it to the right alignment so now i'm going to reduce the font size something like this okay so what i'm going to do next i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then you bring this one over here then make your copy select your test tool then highlight it ctrl plus v to paste and change the font color to this yellow or orange color now ctrl plus a to select all Apply vertical alignment, control plus D to deselect. So over here is the outcome. Okay, so now we are going to bring our image. So I'm going to import this one, reduce the size, then import the second one, reduce the size. To something like this and use your arrow key then to shift it this way it's okay all right so having done this one now so i'm going to hold your shift key then then hold your shift key so when you hold your shift key right click and i'm going to convert it to smart object all right so having done that one then go to your image then select adjustment brightness now i'm going to increase the brightness 51 percent is okay then on the construct increase it then go back to image adjustment and select vibrance then also increase this one and increase the saturation just a little 
five percent is okay all right so having done this one so the next thing i'm going to do then i'm going back to the menu select filter and select two fast labs then i'm going to apply adjustment uh, i mean details to select the two part detail so now we are going to allow it to load so over here i'm going to select the two parts which i have already prepared so i have those ones which i have prepared then i'm going to select this one so this is the one i select and this is the setting over here so as you can see then i have 0 0.32 then 0 0.12 0 0.57 0 0.12 again and 1.00 and 0 0.01 so these are the settings i use in this one so you can copy it down all right then i'm going to click ok to apply it so this is the outcome of it then i'm going to apply layer mask select your gradient to over here or you press g to apply it now i'm going to blend the bottom over here so it will give me something like this all right so now i'm going to make a copy for the name Control plus c to copy now select your test tool Control plus v to paste then select left alignment something like this now i'm going to reduce the font size this way it's okay and change the font color to black then i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate and i will move this one over here i like it then come over here to make a copy of this one the control plus v to paste okay so this is the outcome of that so now we are going to select our test again and over here copy this one then select your test tool once again then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now I'm going to make use of this font over here. SF Distance Galaxy. Then go to your font over here. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to select the regular. Sorry, I did not highlight it. So I'm going to paste it. Then select the first one, the regular. All right, so and over here, this is the outcome. Now centralize it. Okay, so then I'm going to change the font color. And here is the font color. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then come over here, Ctrl plus V to paste. All right, so having done this one now, so I'm going to apply test effects on it. Okay. Then go to your blending option. Then I'm going to select the bevel and emboss. Then inner bevel, chisel hard, and copy this setting you are seeing over here. So then this is the setting I use. Now I'm going to apply this contour over here and over here this is what you will use okay select the color overlay you see the same this is the color i use over there and the opacity is 100 percent all right now select your drop shadow and make use of this setting over here so, all right, now we are going to click OK on it. Then I'm going to duplicate this one. Then you bring it down. And I'm going to change the fonts to 
champion gothic over here so then this is the font i'm going to select it and i'm going to use light weights now increase the size then position it over here select your text to highlight it and come over here to copy this one then ctrl plus v to paste then ctrl plus a to select all apply vertical alignment to centralize it then ctrl plus d to deselect okay then i'm going to select this to hold your shift key while you select it then use your arrow key then to move it up this way it's okay then i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus key to copy then select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste and I'm going to make use of this font here. Ctrl plus C to copy it. Then I'll come over here and I will paste it. Then I'm going to change the font color to red. And I will position it around here. Now I'm going to apply a drop shadow then over here i'm going to change this one to three percent this one to five percent and this one to six percent something like this then click ok to apply it all right so now hold your shift key while you select this one and i'm going to group it then click here to group it now i'm going to import this light here right click and create a clipping mask now then select vivid lights something like this okay so having done this one so the next thing we are going to do now then we are going to import our brush then hold your shift key while you drag it down it's okay all right so then we are going back drag this one back then click here so now we are going to apply our background so the first thing then import this one then you scale it out this way it's okay then go to filter, select your blur, Gaussian blur, and make use of 8.2. Then you click OK. So now we are going back to our resource document. Then import this one. Then before I work on this one, then go back to this one and change this one to hard lights then come to this one and this one i'm going to reduce the opacity to 30 percent then i'm going to drag it up this way now right click and flip it horizontal so let the fissure fix this way something like this then apply your layer mask then select your gradient tool over here and we are going to blend the bottom that is okay it's 
So having done this one, then I'm going to select this one. I will reduce the size of the text. Okay. And take this one up a little. Then having done that one, then this image I'm going to select all to make sure that it is centralized. Alright, something like this. Then why I'm going to use the arrow key to move or shift the test here. Also this one, use your arrow key then to shift it. Okay, so now then we are going to, to bring our location and the text and the date and time. So I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then import your location icon. Reduce the size. Then I'm going to zoom in this size. Then select your test to Ctrl plus V to paste. Now reduce the font size. Alright. Then go back. And over here, we are going to import this one. Then reduce the size. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. Now increase the font size, then come over here and copy this one. Ctrl plus V to paste. Now we are going to reduce the size. Then why we increase this one? Then use your arrow key then to adjust it. Alright. Then import the time icon. Right, so something like this, then we are going to import this light once again. Now reduce the size, then change the blending mode to screen, position it over here. The last thing I'm going to import this image over here. Then you drag it down. Then position it around here. Reduce the size. Then increase it a little bit. So okay like this. Now go to your blending mode and change it to overlay. Then you will have something like this. Alright. 
So now we are going to reduce this test here to something like this is okay. Then I'm going to increase this one. to something like this then select this light and over here I'm going to reduce it this way why I'm going to scale it just a little this way it's okay Right. then go back to this background here and I'm going to scale it by reducing it this way then apply your layer mask select your gradient tool and you blend the bottom over here it's alright then go to your test here and I'm going to increase the character spacing by 100 or 120 percent. Then Ctrl plus A to select all. Apply vertical alignment. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then go to this worship image. Now I'm going to reduce it this way. something like this then select the layer mask select your brush and i'm going to brush it over here like this all right so now this is the outcome of it that is all in this tutorial Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please kindly subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my video. Then and don't forget to share so that your friends and family can also benefit by learning from it. Okay, don't forget to to join the membership channel on this YouTube. Then and also if you want to order for any flyer, then you can use the Fiverr link which is in the description below. Then to order any of your flyer design and also if you want to create your fiber account there is a link provided there then you can follow the link then to create your own fiber account if you want to optimize your channel i use to body to optimize my channel then you can use the link below then to create your own two body account and optimize your uh, your channel either youtube or any other channel that you want to optimize thank you so much please don't forget to subscribe i really appreciate your following Thank you so much.